Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite hairstyles, um, milkmaid braids. I have kind of changed this style over the years as I've learned different little tips and also as my hair has gotten longer. Um, you can totally do this hairstyle if you have shorter hair, but I thought I'd show you how I do it and tell you a few different things that you can change if you have shorter hair. Um, I really like this hairstyle because it lasts a really long time and you can make it look as messy or as elegant as you want. So to start with, you're going to have your hair fully brushed out and parted in the middle or off to the side wherever you want your part to be, but make sure the back is parted as close to the middle as possible I found works because otherwise your braids will be different sides, sizes and if you don't mind, then that's okay. After that, you will start on one side and you can put this hair off to the side if you want but I'm just used to it, so I just leave it. But you're going to come up here and I like to smooth back a section. Get it nice and smooth and then start twisting it. Slowly adding in sections. And I find this gets gives you the smoothest um, twist. And I'll keep doing this just like smoothing it as I go. I'll keep doing this until it gets about to my ear, a little bit behind my ear. And then I will secure this with bobby pins. And I found um, the best way of securing it is making sure that you have this last piece that you added in twist back tightly and on top. And then I will kind of catch it right here Catch the top and make sure that the um, bumpy part of the bo bobby pin is against your scalp. So, like this. And secure it. And then I'll do a second one, this time, over the top of the twist. Not catching, because this one kind of went under. This one I will just use to secure it a little bit better. And then you divide this hair off into three sections and just do a regular braid. When I'm doing milkmaid braids, I like to put the back piece over first so that it's nice and tight. I notice it holds a little bit better if I do that. The first part of the braid I always try to keep nice and snug so that it will stay longer. After that you don't really have to worry about it as much. That kind of sets you a good base. So I'm just going to braid this down um, as far as I can and then I'll do the same thing to the other side. Another thing to remember is when you twist, make sure you're twisting it going down, not out or up. Otherwise, when you go to put it in the braid, it will puff out right here. So after you've braided both sides, um, if you have shorter hair, you'll go this direction and fold it up and around but because of how long my hair is I go to the back and I don't just do it straight because that makes a little bubble right here I kind of turn the braid over this way and I go around and I hold it there I don't pin it yet I do the same to the other one and kind of decide where I want my braids. Sometimes I do them further back, sometimes a little bit more forward, and I get them where I want them, and then I will hold the one braid where I want it, and I will pin it. I've also found that if you keep the bobby pins going the same direction as the braid. So this one, 
um, for this braid, I'll have it going this way when I put it in. Um, then it kind of helps pull it up and helps it not to slide. Um, also, these twists, they add a little bit more volume and they also help to hide bobby pins. So I like to put the bobby pin kind of in between the braid and that twist. It also gives the bobby pins a little bit more grip. Now I'm going to take this other one, wrap it around back. Kind of slide it right here in between the twist and the braid to hide that rubber band and if the braids aren't quite right you can kind of push them around and they'll kind of just go wherever you want them to That's it. Um, this stays really well, doesn't take a whole lot of bobby pins, and you can make lots of different variations of this. I've seen some where they'll French braid right here, and actually I do that a lot. I'll, um, instead of doing a regular braid, I'll do two French braids and then just wrap them around. But it stays really well, it looks nice, and you can sleep in this as well, and the next morning you'll have kind of curlier hair or wavy hair and if it kind of puffs out right here your twist you can get a bobby pin kind of pull it up twist a little bit and pin it yeah i hope you like this it's a really easy hairstyle and let me know if you try it and what you think thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye